Welcome back to another video for HarborFinancialOnline.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the Form 941 and I'm going to explain this to you guys in a way that's going to simplify it for you and I'm going to also go through the due dates to file this form because it's very important that you file the form on time because you're going to file on a quarterly basis. So I'm going to give those dates to you guys, explain it to you and uh, simplify it here for you. So on the 941, I'm going to do a quick overview of the 941, and then we're going to go to the actual form and walk through it together. On the 941, you must report all wages paid, tips for employees, and federal income tax withheld. You must report the employer's and employee's share of Social Security and Medicare taxes paid during the year. You must report all adjustments to current quarters for Social Security and Medicare amounts. A lot of people fail to report these adjustments. You need to report them. If you report any changes you had to sick, you must report any changes you had to sick pay, tips, and group term life insurance. Failing to report these amounts will result in penalties and interest. You must also report all the COBRA premium assistance paid during the year. If you had made deposits during the year, you have 10 days after the required due dates to file the 941. Now here are the due dates I want to go through real quick with you guys. So for quarter one, January, February, and March, that quarter is going to end March 31st. So you need to have the form in by April 30th. Quarter two will be your months of April, May, and June the second quarter it's gonna end June 30th so the form needs to be in by July 31st quarter 3 July August September that quarter ends September 30th it's gonna be due on October 31st quarter 4 October November December the quarter ends December 31st so it's gonna be due January 31st let's go to the form now Okay, here's your 941. This is what you're going to have to file on a quarterly basis. So the top part is just going to be your business information, EIN number. So if you're new to having a business and you dig get an EIN, it's very easy. I have videos on that if you want to learn about it. Or you just go to the IRS website, put in EIN, it gives easy instructions. You can actually do it right online. Uh, you can have it done in five minutes. Here's where you're going to mark your box to whatever quarter you are. Okay. You're going to fill in the EIN like I just talked about. The name, not your trade name, your name. Here's the trade name address. Scroll down here. Box one is just going to be the number of employees. So say we have nine. This will be the total wages tips. We'll just make up an amount. Now the income tax withheld from those amounts. Your, I, I assume your amounts are going to be a lot bigger than these. I'm just, for example, putting those in. Okay. Now, box four, if you had no wages, tips, and other compensation are subject to Social Security and Medicare tax, you're going to check this and then go to box six. If you're feeling a little bit confused by this, this is why I recommend doing it online electronically because it's going to automatically bring in the form and just ask you questions and then it's going to populate these boxes for you so you don't have to do all this work. But I just want to try to explain the form to you guys. So we have in box five here. Okay, let's go up here taxable social security wages you're going to fill that in here and security tips medicare wages and tips this is just going to be the total from all your employees and then it just does a quick mathematical formula to get the total for your taxes we scroll down here these are the adjustments that you need to report box seven current quarter adjustments Okay, so if you had any adjustments, you need to report them in there. 
Box 9, advanced earned income credit, payments made to employees, make sure you're reporting that. Box 12, COBRA, premium assistance payments, and the number of employees who received it. Again, if you're feeling overwhelmed with this form, I recommend doing it online if you can. Here's our website, harborfinancialonline.com. I recommend checking this site out. You can learn more about the 941 and prepare it online. Um, you want to try doing it electronically, the court, filling this form out, because you're going to have to do it on a quarterly basis, and it's just going to make it a whole lot easier. Let's scroll down our website here. Now, if you have any other you know, areas of tax that you're wanting to learn about, I recommend checking out our site because we, our site is devoted to ways to get more deductions, get more credits, and ultimately how to increase your refund and using tax software, electronic tax software, versus trying to manually do it like we just did on that form. You can see if you had to do that every quarter on your own, that's going to be very time consuming and probably lead to a lot of errors. So let's get back. So again, these are the due dates. Make sure you have them sent in by these dates. They just need to be postmarked by those dates. So quarter 1, April 30th. Quarter 2, July 31st. Quarter 3, October 31st. Quarter 4, January 31st. I, rec I recommend using our online calculator to see what your taxes might be. It's free. It'll give you a free estimate. Appreciate you watching the video. Check out our website, harborfinancialonline.com. Mm -hmm.